I for today's teardown at least I added to my collection a Soviet made calculator. Here we have the Electronica MK26 from the Bilor or Bailor factory with this particular logo. So it is apparently a late one of the Soviet era because it was made in 1990, as you can see here. Cyan number engraved on the price of 35 rubles, which was actually already quite a lot. So I got it for cheap because it is not working correctly. But before we test it, the first thing you can notice is the keys, which are quite loose in the frame here. And actually, if I check the calculator, they are making quite a lot of noise. So not a very good first quality uh, sign. And we will compare with other ones from, the, from Japan. Here we have Canon Peltronic, LED one. If I check it, no noise at all. The keys are well secured in here. Not very comfortable, but they are not making any noise. And another one here, a very common Casio. This one, just a little bit of noise. Yes, the keys are moving a little bit. It is a little bit noisy, but nothing compared to this one. Okay. So it has uh, two problems. Some of the keys are really not responding very well. And also we have a ghost digit problem. So here it looks uh, almost good, but if I uh, press several keys, you can see all the digits are lighting up. So I do not know uh, what the deal is. Either we have uh, a defect in the VFD itself, in the controller chip, or somewhere else. Maybe we have some surface contamination on the PCB and it will clean out. I have no idea. So we will try to see if there is anything obvious. So on the top here, the power button with a red dot applied with a paint. Very poorly. I'm not sure if it is a factory or if it is a user who did add it. And a plug for power external power supply. It is powered with, we have a battery cover, not really impressive this thing, you can see the molding here is not even straight on this part. Four batteries with a packing label here for the, showing the insertion way of the batteries and yes, slotted screws. It is not every day you see slotted screws on a calculator. So, uh, let's undo them real quick. They are uh, not uh, self-tapping screws, they are metal ones, yes, with uh, brass inserts in the other part. So that is good. Uh, Let's try to pop this cover off. Okay. Frame just like this. Nothing particular here. And here we can see the contents. So it looks like it will not reveal much. Uh, here is our label with batteries. Two boards design. 
one for the keys which are secured by uh, this uh, internal frame here and uh, welded in place so it is not uh, coming apart this thing uh, what seems to be silver coated tracks here uh, board number here and rigid link to the main PCB uh, this uh, Other here is coming off. So we have the VFD, Soviet one, the main controller chip with uh, same Baylor factory logo, and the model number here K145 IP11A, apparently. If I read my Russian letters correctly, here it is for you, that code of uh, 1990, yes it is a late one, your typical red Soviet resistors, and here what seems to be the power supply unit or converter, wrapped in plastic, so a little overboard like this with Uh, one transformer, capacitors and a few transistors, so uh, switch mode power converter for the VFD. Ok, quite uh, interesting design. Uh, there is an adjustment here but I did try to modify it, it does not affect the problem with the VFD. Small diodes and all the parts are actually still Soviet design in here. I do not see any surface contamination on this PCB, sadly. So nothing I can try to clean. Maybe it is a problem with the capacitors here, but I will not tamper with them. I will keep it in the original condition. Anyways, I have already a number of calculators in my collection that I can use. So this one is just purely for collection. Look at this. It is really not impressive the way it is made. This part is not uh, going back in place very well. So they just uh, drop all the parts in the case and the cover is uh, keeping everything in place. Okay. And the case problem is even worse now. Okay. So it is what it is, but at least I have one in my collection. So actually uh, on eBay you can find the Soviet calculators at very random prices from random uh, places. Uh, quite a lot of them are still available from uh, Ukraine right now. But the shipping price is quite uh, expensive and with situation in Ukraine you cannot be even totally sure the parcel will, will even arrive. There is a crap bag at, uh, currently also of them but uh, too expensive. But I will keep an eye for any uh, trip opportunity to get uh, other models. So for now I will try to put this poor thing back together and it will go directly in my storage. So thanks for watching, bye bye.